Love Radio. Oh yeah, I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's an epic Friday. Thank you for waking up with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss y'all nigga and shout out to y'all man. We Good morning. Yeah, we couldn't yes. do it without y'all, man. How y'all feeling? How you feeling this morning, Miss Sunday? Great, great, great. How Let's do you? it. How about you, Shout? Hey, man, it's a wonderful Friday, man. I'm ready to get it over. Man, we ain't here at the top of the hour, the top of the morning, man. We get a chance to kick things off with our favorite listeners. Hey, we got to hit y'all with the date to limit. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Give y'all a chance to get some money. That's right, some moolah in your pocket. And Miss Shout Nigga get to do what? What's up? Of course, we got to talk about the biggest thing happening today and get inside some word on the streets news to find out what's popping with your favorite stars. What's good, shouty? You won't believe what this woman found her husband at after putting a GPS tracker in his car. It's crazy and it's coming up at the 25 on the crazy report. There it is. Make sure y'all stick around all morning long. We going up, baby. Keep it locked, young jock. the streets morning take. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, pop, we are now live on your radio. That's right. Let's get into it. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis took the stand on Thursday and forcefully pushed back against what she described as lies about her romantic relationship. For the first time, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis were in court speaking under oath about their relationship and at times tempers flared. Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear because you lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this it, it, it is a lie. It is a lie. A long day of testimony and a long day of questions about their relationship. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man, which is why I was his money back. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. I know that's right. Okay. Um, first and foremost, this is going to be a long day with this funny Willis on the stand as she defends herself against a lot of lies. But from the clip that just played, she definitely put herself in a very compromising situation um, involving herself with her employee. Um, that, in my eyes, is just deplorable because of the recent well the statements that she had made in the past and why she was so much different than Donald Trump so don't let me confuse you during this day and think that I'm on the side of somebody that was sleeping with somebody else because I'm not but what I will say is baby you better come prepared if you go come for Fonny because she do not play the radio TV or internet okay and um, this is going to be very interesting this uh, prosecutor that was questioning uh uh, Fonnie Willis, Ashley Merchant really had a hard on for Fonnie and Fonnie was ready for her since Monday with the uh, opening statement. So um, this is going to be very interesting. As you know, Shouty Shouty is a Trump supporter. So, of course, he is naturally going to be against Fonnie and I guess uh, being moral moral grounds for things we shall see it's going to be a very interesting friday i right here with young jack industries were to take over check the news Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover is t-h-e-e the bonnie banks i'm gonna get you around your streets in only 90 seconds an attorney representing one of the defendants in the fulton county rico case against a young thug and his ysl associates 
has asked the judge to take her off the case. A new court filing states a public defender wants out saying she's not being paid enough for her work. Yeah, some people are getting a little scared, too, because there's threats going on. There's a lot around this YSL case, and I'm sure she probably wants to get paid for the turmoil of just protecting her uh, identity. Yeah, they have her at a rate, and, you know, she needs a better rate because she's an attorney and she's not able to practice while she's working this trial. Yes, yes, I feel that, and I can relate. Now, update on the shooting at Benjamin E. Mays High School in Atlanta apparently wounded four students. Mm. According to the school district, shots were fired from a nearby vehicle, hitting four students in the school's parking lot at Benjamin Mays High School. All of the students were taken to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. So far, three people have been detained in relation to the shooting, a 35-year-old woman, a 17-year-old girl, and a man of an unspecified age. I'm sure we will get more details of why the shooting possibly happened. And speaking of that, two juveniles have been detained in connection with the shooting at Kansas City Chiefs' Big Goal Celebration. This appeared to be a dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. The 22 victims' age ranged between 8 years old and 47 years old. At least half of our victims are under the age of 16. Is this Kansas City? Well, we've had parades like this before. We had one last year without this type of incident. We had a Kansas City Royals victory parade where we had almost no arrests in 2015. So I don't think in any way that this is Kansas City. Wow, it looks like large gatherings are becoming a little bit more um, unsafe. Yes, yes and they we're are. gonna have to get a lot of security. It's you know, people want to go and have a good time, but you never know what other people's intentions are. So that's around the streets in ninety seconds. It's T H E E D Bonnie Banks. You can follow me on all social media. Shy Shy's got the craziest thing you heard all day. That's right. It's the crazy report. Don't Hi. go anywhere. It's Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shotty, shotty, run it down. Still running down is what we about to do, man. We finna take a ride with Craig White so she can run him down in the car that she pays for, and he's somewhere asleep. Mayor, what is my car doing? Oh, you got money. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Cause guess what? Don't worry about it. You finna be taking him home, or you finna be walking, baby. How did you even know? The car don't worry about it. Because this is my car. I got this car for Craig, but not for Craig. To be over here with you, you need to go get a car for Craig so he can come over here and see you in it. Not my car. You're really just about to leave this man stranded over here without a car. Whoa, now, yeah, she pulled right off. I'm talking about this is not going to age well. Now, the side piece stuck in the yard like, how I'm going to get Craig out my house for my husband come home? And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy and I'm crazy. And the moral of the story is. Wrap it up. That's y'all what my name is with the crazy report. Can't we all just get along? Follow me on all social platforms at Shawty the Comedian. Hi. Now let's get into these national days. That's right. Definitely got to do that and talk about National Almond Day. All right. Mm-hmm. Get you some little almonds in your mouth. Almonds. Also, Ooh. Friday, <laughs> fish. Friday. Right. Okay. Go right, right. with them almonds in your mouth. <laughs> also, <laughs> no one eats a long day. Make sure you are in the company of somebody as they get they eat on. And it's National Caregivers Day. So okay. if you are a caregiver, make sure you pat yourself on the back and keep yeah. doing the wonderful job that you are doing. Given you are a good caregiver. Mm-hmm. Thank All right. you. All right. Cool. Thank you. Better be. To my household. They my caregiver. What happened? <laughs> and made and pays. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Let's get into these celebrity birthdays. Of course, it is still Aquarius season. It's about to come to an end real soon. It is a Lupe Fiasco's birthday. Ice T is celebrating a birthday today. Coffee. The artist is celebrating a birthday, the weekend, and it is YFN Lucci's birthday. I think he's going to be getting out, what, in, in March? About two months. Yeah, About so mm. we'll see how things unfold as he gets his release. That boy coming home. home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks for that shout Of course, DJ Swin, take it away. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday <laughs> wish list with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. I heard it's your birthday. Let's have some fun on this epic Friday. Yeah. Shouts out to all the birthday people out there, man. Many more blessings. As a matter of fact, I'm shouting out Blessing Lois. She turned three 
years old today. Her wow. name is literally. Blessing. Oh, right. I love that name. Yes, happy I birthday, do. Blessing. Uh, Valentina Witcher. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Aaron Moore. My dog, Sue the Jug. I actually know this one, man. Thank you for tapping okay. in with us on the gram. Uh-huh. Kiki Gaines, happy birthday to you. And I want to give a big, big birthday shout out to another, another lo- local celebrity, Doran Addison and Veronica Peacock. Happy birthday to happy, you guys. Happy birthday. Right? Yeah. yeah. Happy Friday. And we are taking your request. We are taking your uh, uh, shout outs. We are taking it all. Make sure you slide in the DM. Streets Morning Takeover. That's Streets with a Z. Leave it locked. We got more coming up from Young Jock. Miss Shanika and Shouty Shouty. Yeah. We are Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. That's right, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty Shouty. DJ Swin and the Bonnie Banks. And we are talking about Fonny. Willis, overnight superstar to the world, honey. Because <laughs> when I tell you, everybody talk about Fonny. Now, Fonny does not, and for those just tuning in, because I know some people have different days, D.A. Fonny Willis of Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, okay? Um, she is basically on the stand answering a lot of questions because as you know there's a RICO case against former president Donald Trump and her personal relationship with one of her employees is now on display for the world to see now as this trial is being live streamed we're able to see the shenanigans as it plays out yes. now Fonnie Willis is accusing um, the whole system of in their opening statements trying to take her down there lying on her as as so she said and she is defending what she says is her truth but she made it clear that she's not on trial you're confused you think i'm on trial these people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020 i'm not on trial no matter how hard you try to put me on trial what did you guys say about that? She is on trial. And, um, no, she's not. Yeah, she's on the biggest. Yes, yes, yes. She is because she allegedly is having a relationship. And it is, it's proven. She's had the relationship. Mm-hmm. She's coming off trying to run the trial against her and try to create the narrative. Let me tell you something. When people ask you yes or no question, mm-hmm. the truth does not need explanation. But she has to go in well, depth. Well, she gives and, me woman that doesn't need to... I hate explaining myself to people. And sometimes I do give a little bit more information to like support what my truth is. And some people just don't know how to be the person in the hot seat. And she gives me that. No, she gives me... And she me- sat up there, she said, and they lied on her all Monday. And all she could hear was the opening statements against her. And this lady, whatever this heifer name is, <laughs> uh-huh. um, at, what's her name? Ashley? Ashley, whatever the hell her name is, she was sitting up here antagonizing her. They all, Ashley uh, Merchant, she was antagonizing Fonnie Willis on, on that uh, stand. Also, the the other man who is on the team of Ashley Merchant, they were really like trying to taunt this lady, and yes, she's not because, going for it because she was at not the end giving, of the day, she's still the district attorney. Yes, but she they was asking yes or no questions. She is an attorney. Now, if I had to look at her to learn if this is courtroom procedure and this is how she act as a witness, then that's horrible. Okay, well... Thanks for that, Chowdy. We are going to be talking more about Fonny Willis. So definitely keep your radios locked in right here. As you know, the word on the streets news is on the way. Um, We got to talk about some things. Uh, um, Monique's son has uh, replied to uh, some thingy things mm. that has been said. Also, we have an update on what's good with Shannon Sharp and Mike Epps. And Usher has revealed a whole host of things that uh we probably should even know right after he just got married wow yeah, keep it locked in right here word on the streets news coming up in less than 10 minutes keep it locked right here to young jock in the streets morning takeover ladies and gentlemen word on the streets she be bopping i need more yeah. word on the streets screaming by like on a moped word on the streets i get it popping like a blackhead word on the streets it's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. All right, well, I'm going to kick this off <laughs> and talk about when the unks link up, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, well, there was a, a little debacle that had happened 
Mike Epps thought he was so funny last weekend as he was on stage doing his jokes, trying to call out Shannon Sharp. Uncle JJ wasn't going for it at all. Definitely told Mike Epps in his rebuttal that it could be all the smoke he wanted to be. Then Mike Epps said, I hate I know you go be in that town. I'm going to be in that town for the All-Star. What was popping? Well, they decided to have a sit down. It looks like they settled it by a, a arm wrestling match. <laughs> wow. Now, I ain't going to say who won, but it looked like Uncle Shay Shay won to me. I don't know. But they they were able to sit down and squash it and move past it. So we are getting to see our old heads actually act representative of what the younger generation needs to start doing. Yeah, okay. They, they, and they said, and cut. <laughs> All right. So the caption, they said, as promised, no video required, no audio required, just a picture of proof we are good. Moving right along, let's talk about this right here. Monique's son, Chad, he is dropping receipts on his mama. Now, at this <laughs> point, because Monique came and she revealed text messages between her and her son trying to prove that she's somewhat of a good mother, but he was like, if you are that good of a mother, how come you ain't check on me? I guess the intelligent thing to do when assuming that your son is having a mental episode is to post personal screenshots of text messages that are three years old in an attempt to validate a false narrative as if they are some type of receipt. You also invaded the privacy of my daughter's grandparents by posting your receipts. Nice Neither of you should never speak on mental health again if you thought that that idea was a good one. As a person who lives with mental health issues, let me be the first to educate you that there are individuals who have taken their lives, harmed, and also taken the lives of others for doing the very thing that you so proudly did and your fan base pats you on the back for, which is very telling to how strangers will buy into your toxicity. One thing about Mm. it. It wow. sounds like she paid for some good school. That boy got education right now. That boy right know down. how to talk, okay? Mm. You know how to read because he had decided to write out his thoughts so he could read what his statements were. Wow. So he didn't sound like he was all over the place. So, got to respect that. She did some right, yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Let's talk Usher revealing that he once proposed to TLC's Chili. Now, in an exclusive with People Magazine, everybody for so long had tried to figure out this nostalgic relationship between the two and why it ended. Uh, Chili ended up saying Usher did the unforgivable and he admitted that he cheated on her. But he said once he proposed, she turned him down. He basically took out that rejection on all the other women that he had ever been with. So um, this is a longer Usher story, but it starts here. And we're going to continue as to why the hell this man just got married and he's still talking about Chili. For real. And Chili got her a good white man right now. Whoa, you hear me? Uh, her? She got a Lawrence brother. <laughs> Matthew Lawrence, to be exact. Y'all know Joey Lawrence, the Lawrence brothers. Them some good looking white boys. All right. um, That is the word on the streets news for right now. What we really got to talk about coming up is D.A. Fonnie Willis. We go get all into it. We're looking for your calls to see what you think and what you got going on. What are you trying to say, Shouty? Yes, we're going to see what's going on in Atlanta with this corrupt trial with Donald Trump and Fonnie Willis. Uh, didn't need that. But thank you. Thank you. Keep it locked in right here as we get into this Fonnie Willis on on the uh, the, the stand uh, yes. answering questions about her romantic relationship with her employee. Keep it locked <laughs> in right here. Show Jack in the streets want to take over. That's right, Young Jock in the Streets want to take over. Miss Shanika right here, Shouty Shouty, mm-hmm. DJ Swin, and the Bonnie Banks. I'm a, I'm gonna need Bonnie to assist me in this because you know I really hate when you and Jock team up, but you have just so much built up in you. Do I? You're such a Trump supporter, and you just no, feel not. like 
DA Fonnie Willis is completely in the wrong because of this. Now it's not alleged this uh, (laughs) proven relationship with one of her employees. And now it seems that it can affect or may be able to affect um, one of the biggest Rico's that she has to date, which is against former President Donald Trump. Yes. All right. So here is Fonnie Willis describing her relationship with Nathan Wade. Our personal relationship ended in um, this year. Mr. Wade is my friend right now. Mr. Wade, I would say, has been my friend since 2020. I think he started out as like a mentor and a professional colleague. He became my friend and somebody that I, I really respected. I feel very indebted to Mr. Wade uh, for taking on the task of this job. All right. Well, mm. Shouty, I mean, what what do you have to say? I say that um, there's definitely been some things done that was unethical. Unethical. Uh, with, yeah, unethical with what she has done. She has hired her boyfriend and gave him this salary. And then they are taking trips off of the money coming right out of his business account. Then she's saying, no, they weren't gifts to me because I paid him back. All in cash without any type of record to show why well, I, re- I pulled this out of the bank. I pulled this four thousand dollars. She said, "No, my daddy told me to always keep cash. So I always keep fifteen to five thousand dollars at all times." And she wrote a book saying that she didn't have a lot of money. So it's not adding up. The math is not math. So you don't think if you keep working in your career and in your job that you won't be able to acquire what it is that you set your goal for? I think that if you are under scrutiny. And your best answer is, I don't have a receipt to where I pay him. I don't have a bank record. I have cash that I gave him. Okay. But the bigger question is, how is this interfering with the prosecution of Donald Trump? Okay, so it's election um, it's election collusion at its best because, let me tell you this, they could have been laying down in the bed and say, hmm, we ought to go after Trump for, uh, for when they tried to change the um, election and mm-hmm. so he said she said yeah i'm gonna put it forth and then you'll be the prosecutor i'll pay you two hundred fifty thousand dollars i mean I t- i'll pay you 250 250 dollars an hour mm-hmm. and you can run the hours all the way up because he maxes hours up mm-hmm. and then i will pay you and then my man will be paid that will create a lifestyle for us and we can take trips to napa valley valley we can take trips wherever we're gonna go and that is what but you do it, understand that there has been proof that this election was tampered with for it to even get to the level of it being a RICO against Donald Trump. I'm not saying Donald Trump is innocent. What I am saying is she needs to pass the ball. So, but what she you are saying across, is that she could have hired anybody to do right. said job, whether she was sleeping with them or not. No, she could have hired somebody who was a professional in RICO cases because he is racking up hours doing practice. If you're not a RICO trial lawyer, then you're going through trial and error and you're charging the city of Atlanta for it. All it's right. very clear that she said that she trusted him and his judgment. Her, she's a bad, she has a bad judgment. All right. Well, we want to get your honest opinions on what's going on with D.A. Fonnie Willis. And what do you think about her being on the stand yesterday as she is now an overnight sensation all across the Internet's world? 1-844-YUNGJOC. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Table. That's right. Young Jack in the streets want to take over. Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty, DJ Swin and the Bonnie Banks. And we are getting into it this morning. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis on the stand as they try to figure out um, what her situation was, her relationship with an employee by the name of Nathan Wade and how it relates to Donald Trump's RICO case. Yes, right? yes. All right. And because of that, um, there has been a lot of revelations and people trying to figure out what funds were allocated and, you know, just all these things. But Fonny definitely came in with a brashness about herself. She was not playing with these people at all. And she said that she heard these people 
Lionheart all Monday morning in their opening statements. For the first time, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis were in court speaking under oath about their relationship and at times tempers flared. Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear because you've lied in this. this, Let me tell you which one you lied in right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. no. This is the truth, Judge. And this is it it is a lie. It is is a lie. A long day of testimony and a long day of questions about their relationship. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man, which is why I was his money back. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Only a black woman can lift you up to the top of the ceiling and say that you are a man that she looked up to was a mentor and a god and then take your ass down by saying oh, all the thing a woman can do for me is make a sandwich <laughs> all right so we want to know from the people what do you think that the relationship that Fonnie and Nathan had uh how it directly affects this Donald Trump election case. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm on that Fannie Willis thing. Okay. Even though her delivery was kind of brash, I feel that she did what she had to do. You know, she was defending herself, pretty much defending fighting for her life in this court against uh, five people against one. And ain't nobody else gonna defend her. The allegations had her painted as a loose person. Why would she not defend herself in the manner that she did? Fine black. Well I think she should be put up on the same scrutiny that they putting Donald Trump upon them. Hey my name Q I wanna say that Charlotte sound like he went to Trump University with all these conspiracies he got going on. Secondly, man, how can you sit up here? It's ironic that you can talk about what Bunny doing or whatever the lawyer, the district attorney doing, but you don't talk about the fact that Trump on trial for paying for paying a porn stuff. You're making a case. You're making an argument off of accusations. She came out and said that, yeah, we have a relationship. Okay, but y'all building a case saying that just because she has a relationship with him, Oh, she took all this money that they making, they laid in the bed, and they came up with some type of collusion. Just because she said we had a relationship. That's a conspiracy that you Trump supporters were coming up with. There's no proven fact that, she, that they took any money off of this right here and made a conspiracy out of it. There's no proof of it. Donald Trump's baby. What do you think about this? I think that um, ethically... It, ethics is all out the window. I think that, you know, as a district attorney, you got to hold yourself to a higher mm-hmm. standard. All right. Well, thank you for that. And we will be talking more about <laughs> Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis, as she has definitely made herself a superstar overnight. Now, coming mm-hmm. up, we got to get inside this date deliver. I feel like we've been talking about a date deliver. We morning. have. But we're going to get into it. And if you have one, you can get at us. 1 844 YUNG JOC is Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. You are now listening to The Day Dilemma. Well, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's The Day Dilemma who's on the line this morning. What's up, Jock? It's Maya. What's up? How you doing, Maya? Good morning. I could be doing better if I wasn't keeping on getting lied to. Mm. 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 Okay, talk Tell to us me. about these lies. I'm just not feeling it, y'all. When I tell you I've been dating this man, we've been talking about our future together, we be talking about kids together, and this man been lying to me this whole time. And the kicker is, he keep lying. Mm. Okay, so, so who is this y'all. first? Who is this man? What's his name? So his name is Sean. Okay, so Sean. How's Sean been lying to you? So three weeks ago, this man passes out in a diabetic coma. Mm. And at first, the sadness is gone. I'm not sad about it anymore. I get to the hospital, but his mom is there, and his mom brings two kids that I had no idea about. I've been asking him if he has kids this whole time. This man been telling me no. Wow. So I'm just trying to figure out what do I do in this situation because I keep asking him, even after he even woke up after the coma, and he's still lying about it. But so you asked him straight up, do you have kids? And he said no. Yes. Mm. And do they look like him? They look just like him, and they act like him, too. <laughs> they act like him, too. Okay, so they were lying? He's lying. When he woke up, I kept asking him. I even asked his mama. The mama said they was his kids. Why he ain't claiming his kids? Because that's weird. That's what I'm trying to figure out, and that's why I need y'all. Oh, 
Okay, so w- what did he say about these two kids? He's not saying anything. I done threw several hints at the hospital. I didn't ask him once again, you know, if he have anything he want to tell me. and You know, because I wouldn't judge him. I wouldn't care. I don't mind the kids, but he's not telling the truth about it. Mm, okay, so you want us to get him on the phone and, ask, and get him to come clean? Yes, I do. Okay, what's his name again? His name is Sean. Sean, and what's your name one more time? Maya. Maya, we're going to get Sean on the phone, put your phone on mute. Hopefully this plays out the way you want it. Well, so, well. So my, my thing is, why hasn't she really just opened up to him and said these kids came down here? No, why she just ain't socked him in the face out of sleep? <laughs> That's what, no, that's what I want to know. Talking about she throwing hints. It don't sound like she's had a real conversation. No, you ain't got to throw. You got to throw blow Somebody. on these hoes. Hello. Hey, good morning. Am I speaking to Sean, please? Yes, Sean. Go ahead. How you doing, brother? Uh, you're on the phone with a few people that you, you may or may not know. You're on the phone with Young Jock, Miss Shawnee, and Shawty Shawty. We Young Jock in the streets morning take over a nationally syndicated morning show. A segment on our show, Sean, called The Date Dilemma. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, man. I don't know how I turn you in, but uh, so. We were speaking with a young lady, and it kind of gave us uh, a little rundown that you recently had a mm-hmm. uh, emergency the episode. And yeah. um, you can't elaborate on that. Uh, well, I've been talking with, with the show lady, Maya. Okay. We've been talking for the last like five months. Um, I had to get up with some health issues. Uh, I'm a diabetic, um, type one, and I went into a coma. My, my, my blood sugar dropped, and like four, by almost 48 hours, I was in a coma. And um, you know, when I when I come to, you know, I mean, a lot of stuff going on. I, my mom came and she brought two twin boys to the hospital. I never, yeah, to the hospital. And now everything has just been out of whack with me and Maya because, and it's been a lot of uh, personal situations that I haven't got to, you know, through our communication. She always said she didn't want kids, and I understood her reasons why. But the reason that I didn't feel comfortable of telling her about these twins is because I really wasn't sure. But I just haven't had the, you know, time to tell her how they even came into this world. So and wait, you, you sound like you. This is a whole lot of BS. You telling me I know. how all these kids here? Because I mean, it ain't nothing. Five years old, man. So, why you ain't took no DNA test? She said these kids look like you, dog. So Sean, they ain't act like you. She said they were lying too. Sean got diabetes. Yeah. Man, your mama will tell you if that baby was or not. That so you know, just don't want to pay for these kids or something? What's what's happening? No, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna take a DNA. When? So why you when they tell turn fifteen? Why you ain't got? Why you ain't tell about the possible? You don't she always complained about kids, but I was just hoping that I could persuade her. You hope you don't wish you well, she only been in your life five months. You been ignoring these damn kids for five years. Yeah. <laughs> so I know why you never got a DNA test one more time. I just hadn't had a chance. Wow. What does that mean? What, what hadn't had a chance? I've been for? busy, you know, me working and still, you know, trying to do what I got to do to keep out myself. So, I'm, not a, I'm not a perfect man. No, hey man, we ain't here to judge. We not here to judge you. Your your your, your lady. I, I really want my just to change her perspective about. Kids. It's, it's kind of under, it's kind of hard to help change somebody's perspective when you ain't willing to change your own. Yeah. So I could definitely see where there's some conflicts in in this whole situation. Well, anyway, she's on the phone, man. So you know she wanted to talk to you, Maya. Sean, hey, you is a lying, <laughs> double crossing, two timey crook. Mm-mm. I cannot stand you. You sat up here and lied about these kids, even though I asked you at that hospital. I sat by your side when you went through that coma, and you still sat I, up here and I lied was to my face. Medication when you was asking me some of these questions, I can't recall all that. You've been on medication for five months. This is why I don't trust. Name Sean right here. No, no, I, I've been taking my medicine, but going, that was my first time going into a diabetic coma. <laughs> And, I know, actually felt bad for you. I really did. And even after that, I stood by your side when you sat there and lied to my face, but you want to get on the radio? And you could tell I did, I did some strangers that you don't know face, before you Maya. tell me? Maya, I did not lie in your face. Maya, run for you your life, me, girl. You asked this me is crazy. This is just pathetic. It's pathetic. At the wrong time, and I'm highly medicated, and you knew this. Are you still medicated? Because you too calm. I mean, I took my morning medicine, but the thing is, I don't want to The only Maya thing he calm. highly medicated off of is that that's the that he's been smoking every day. Talking oh, about medication. Okay, well, let me, well, listen, listen, listen. He, well, speaking of medication, he talked very slow. This morning radio, and we got, we're trying to get in and out. We're trying to see if we can keep y'all together. Ma, you found out what it is now, so what you gonna do? I mean, Sean, you know I love you, and I love how we ride, but you gonna, are you gonna start taking care of your kids? Are you gonna be able to afford taking care of our future kids? I'm gonna be able to have all of that as soon as I get my health in the right place. Well, once you get your I'm, health in the right place, we'll figure that out. I, I really, I really, I really, I really don't want us to 
go separate ways. I'm willing to work on everything that I have going on. When are you gonna do the DNA, man? Cause you you calm and all that's cool. I'm gonna do the DNA. When? Because the, you, she, she, she put a date she, on it. You man, go, you can do the DNA today. Yeah, you can go to Walgreens. You can get the swab. Like I'm yeah. trying to figure out what's going on. Babe, the kids look just like you. You don't need a DNA test. Well, yeah, the yeah, fact you, do. you still yeah, calling him, babe, he done done ignored I these kids for five years. It's crazy to me. What's it gonna be, baby girl? And that's your time to say yeah or nay. Are y'all gonna keep it going? Y'all gonna keep this thing together? What? We gonna work it out. I believe in second chances, and I really. Believe that Sean is a good man and he just need a good woman by his side to help mm-hmm. him be good. Good luck, mm-hmm. Chad. You believe in third chances because he had a second chance in the hospital. I do. And that is. On behalf of one of the hundred of the Thule Law Firm, we're going to tell over this hundred dollars, man. But go on and buy one of them damn DNA tests and quit playing. Mm-hmm. Time mm-hmm. listeners, call us up 1 844 YUN GJLC. That's 1 844 Keep it locked, young jock in the streets. What's up? It's your girl, Money Long. And every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to the best damn morning show, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say this this morning. Yo, we got so many. Look, we're on our live this morning. And y'all are really typing full-length paragraphs. I'm talking about eight sentences or more. All right, we got to talk about it. Day Dilemma. Maya said that three weeks ago, Sean fell into a diabetic coma. Now, his mom came down to the hospital with some kids. Mm. Mike said she ain't know nothing about this man having no kids now. Not no kids now, some twins now. Mm. <laughs> Sean said he didn't feel sure about telling Maya about his about the twins. I'm not going to say his twins, the twins, because he was not sure about the DNA evidence that mm. confirms they're his. Now, she said the babies look just like him. Yeah. <laughs> she said what it is. Like, man, these babies look just like you. My said that he lied to her and is concerned as to why he wouldn't take care of his kids. Now, man, I asked him. I said, why haven't you done the DNA test? Uh, I was just, you know, trying to get around to it. Not five years. Yeah. He post told her, he post been like, it's like a spade's hand. Two possibles. <laughs> <laughs> that what he was supposed to say. No, nah, he definitely should have been like, now, listen, I just want to tell you something. Mm-hmm. As it stands, I don't believe I have any kids right now. Mm-hmm. But there's a it's, it's a young lady, and we haven't done a DNA test just yet. That's all. Woman can accept that. And if she and if she ride with you, then you don't got to be building off of this lie. I told y'all. You tell one, you got to tell another one to support it. Yep. Could them kids come by there at five? Never saw her. Who is her? They don't even know who is him. Wow. <laughs> you talking about your jockey the street <laughs> want to take over? What's your house on this day's dilemma? Good morning, y'all. This is Andy. Now, Sean, no damn wedding. I'm sure he's here. That's why he ain't got him tested yet. He, he, he playing games. And his mama probably thought he was on the deal bed. That's why she brought them twins up there. Why are you playing with them folks like that, Sean? And Maya, he got to be doing some good things for her, for her to keep giving him chance after chance after chance. There ain't no way in the hell. You've been dealing with her for five months, and you waited five months to tell me, and, and for me to find out. You weren't even going to tell me. How much, how much longer you going to hold these triggers for me? Uh-uh. Maya need to run for her life. My name's Shy. I just feel like it's something about a woman that will lay down with a man who is actively not taking care of his kids. And you just found out about it, I get it. But you still willing to stay, girl. He going to do the same thing to you while you talk about, are you going to take care of our future kids? Honey, he answered none of your questions. He just kept saying, my health, my health, my health. Oh, now you so sick. That's why you ain't been being no daddy. Good morning. My name is Autumn. So I just want to know who going to tell her. Who going to tell her that this man going to knock her up and then not want to take care of them kids too? <laughs> that day dilemma had me dying, I would tell her, girl, run. Immediately. Run. Do not pass go. <laughs> Child, we got uh, somebody for a business by the name of BioWills, a DNA paternity testing place that wow. said they'll pull up and do the test today. Wow. Mm. What they said. Oh, they came on your deal? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Wow. We might need to talk to them. Ooh, would, you pull up on, would you pull up on people? Yeah, I ride around DA. What if we do it like the, how they do the diamond tester? If your yeah. diamond's real, they jump out. Jump out, be like, hey, bro. Middle lady, middle lady, middle lady. We need to just check that baby right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, <laughs> Are you smarter than your chocolate? <laughs> <It's coming. laughs> you talking about taking over the internet. Woo, the boy, internet. What? Hey, man, they the limits on yes. the way. I mean, I'm sorry. Are you smart? Yeah. <laughs> Young Jock, because that was going to be another day. Wait, my, hey, Miss Lady is the name of the My mind went up, man. Hey, call me to see if you can get this money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Lady. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, we back at it. It's the top of the hour. Young Jock, Miss Shanika, shout it, shout it. Yeah. All right, now, the biggest thing that's, I mean, I'm I'm just here to tell y'all, this stuff is to be going on out here in these streets. Be really, really crazy, man. Okay, yesterday we saw on CNN Live, <laughs> Fulton County DA Funny Willis describing a relationship with Nathan Wade. Um, I, I was I was in a space with of, of, of traveling uh-huh. and trying to focus on what was going on directly in front of me, as well as make sure I did not miss this. Our personal relationship ended in um, this year. Mr. Wade is my friend right now. Mr. Wade, I would say, has been my friend since 2020. I think he started out as like a mentor and a professional colleague. He became my friend and somebody that I, I really respected. I feel very indebted to Mr. Wade uh, for taking on the task of this job. Hmm. And then I sat back after I watched some of these parts. I, 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 I of course, I got in the group chat because Shouter Shouter was Shouter was. I mean, he was sold that funny is just over with. Miss Shanika, you didn't say much in the chat though. Yeah, I I saved what I needed for the radio, and I definitely made it known this morning that if you come in for funny, you better load it up because I'm bringing extendos. I just completely think that uh, this relationship situation that she had with Nathan Dill has no bearings on this Donald Trump election case at all. As I, I said, so you was you was all about yes, it, though. Yes, I don't agree. Um, I I think that you start speaking on ethics. Yeah, I think that the ethics is all out the window. I think that the integrity of the um, district attorney office is at question. I think that if you're going to run on a campaign that you're not going to mess with the employees, that you stick to it, or that's not your word anymore. I think that uh, the Shouty. right answer. I think that you're very skewed in what you think because while we're talking about the election case that was quote unquote stolen by Donald Trump, it's to be a, a DA of a county and to know that something happened on your watch that somebody, you know, did some interference because that part has been proven, right? No, nothing has been proven. Yes, it has. Donald that, Trump has that not been was to, messed up. No, Donald, Donald Trump has not been to trial on anything. So, okay. but 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 well, I'm not saying evidence. he's innocent. They have really strong has, ev- Hold on. Did, hold on, but let me say this. Go ahead. And for this woman to say this happened on my watch, he needs to be prosecuted to the fullest extent because what happened on January 6th? There was a whole insurrection that that was caused and and so many people got harmed. So many things could have happened that this stolen that election. That was loss of life. But, yes. But that, that's not that what they're trying here. Election, yeah, but if you would have never stole the election, January 6th wouldn't have happened. He so never stole this the election. This is way bigger than any personal too. you sleeping with your employee. And then you got to take into no. account who Donald Trump is. He's been accused of sleeping with so many people. It doesn't that matter. Under it's him her that has slept with porn stars. It doesn't wives. matter. He cheated on his yes, wife. It doesn't matter. She the, is, the, the, the she is a local. Okay. This should be in the federal court, so, first so of all. Wait, no, wait. This should not be happen, at a local level. What should happen is that he should not have a vote in the state of Georgia. No. Now, we could take it federally no, after man. that. He's talking about, this This young man, shout to shout, is talking about ethics, right, and this integrity. We're talking about this guy who has none. Known cheater on his wife. This what ain't ethics? got now, nothing to do with that. Talk about, talk about. This man is the same one who is, like she just said, on trial and even has lost against women that he's quote-unquote assaulted. She is. She has hired the guy that she is sleeping with and and wrote his check. And then he is not even a RICO trial lawyer. He has never tried a RICO case. So that's on the... No, no, they're doing a horrible job. That's on the taxpayers' back. Because if you have not ever done a RICO trial, that means you're doing trial and error on the taxpayers' dime. So the money is misappropriated. Then the money for the trips are coming out of his bank account, y'all you're guys. Preaching. You're preaching. I'm, I'm just stating the you facts. You ain't said that. No, you said you're the being facts very about biased. A, a personal with, relationship she has. I'm, that, 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 is, that has With no evidence himself. to support Mm-mm. what you're saying. You're trying to I'm make the, this bigger than what she's fighting against right now. It's not, sir. one 844 yung would love to hear you chime in. one 844 Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take over. You heard? <laughs> All right, we back at it, man. 
Uh, I guess after the yelling has subsided. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Were yelling? I know yelling. Oh, uh, he was definitely we yelling off air. Uh, That's uh, called passion. Oh yes, yeah. that was the passionate mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're talking about uh, D. A. Funny Willis and this uh, uh, whole debacle that's going on right now. She was on CNN Live yesterday, uh, being questioned about this alleged relationship, and you know, people are asking, you know, if this relationship would affect the Donald Trump election case. And that's what we're asking our callers this morning. So we want to go to the lines, man. We want to ask you, good morning, what's your name? Sean, man, so my thing is this. Fanny is doing a great job of defending herself. Let's make it clear. They are attacking her because of a personal relationship that has nothing to do with the facts at hand about Donald Trump. Everybody has their opinion and their bias. What they're trying to dog on pull up is evidence of nothingness. Just like they would do if Donald Trump was on trial. Donald Trump trying to pull up anything to take the heat off of him. Good morning, John. This is Mo. I agree with both Miss Shanika and Shadi Shadi. And let me tell you why. Ethics is a big thing, especially when you're trying cases. We have to be able to trust that you're not going to do anything that's going to put the community at jeopardy. You feel what I'm saying? I think we also have to take out the fact that everybody don't like her because of who she's trying in her other Rico case. You feel what I'm saying? Understood. But what we also have to understand is that man played in our face. And she was the only one to stand on business and try this man because you cannot play with the the residents of Fulton County. My name is Lisa. Shorty, shorty, he just really aggravates me right now because he want to hold Fanny the standards that he don't even want to hold Donald Trump to. So we we need to be even across the board. What happened in her bedroom is none of our business. She's not paying him to sleep with her with our money. And for you to say he never tried a RICO trial before, so he shouldn't try one now, everybody has to get a chance. Yeah, and if you'd like to actually, you know, put your eyes on this this particular situation, uh, Funny Willis' testimony will uh, start back up to, again today around uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on CNN. So, you got you know, you got to check it out, man. Are you smarter than young jockeys on the way, man? I got some money for somebody. Can you beat me today? I got swept yesterday. Huh. Wow. Yeah. You, you, why did you seem so happy that I got beat so bad yesterday? Mm, I don't know. Mm. She, she rejoiced every time you get beat. <laughs> one eight four four. Why did she not rejoice? Yes, rejoice. Oh man. One eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Call me up. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets. Morning take over. Taking the game. The game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets. Morning take over. Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. What's your name? Dukes. Dukes, here are the rules. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions. If you cannot answer the question after the 10 seconds is up or you will be disqualified, okay? All right, let's get into it. Dukes. A 401k is a type of tax advantage defined contribution account designed to help you save for what withdrawal from working life. Is it A, retirement, B, student loan, C, criminal case? (laughs) Retirement. You are correct, Mr. Young John. Yes. What is Beyonce's full name? Hurry up. Beyonce knows Carter. Three. Two. One. All right. And you did not get that right, sir. So I'm going with Dukes. Dukes, what is Beyonce's full name? Hey, Beyonce knows Carter. I don't know. I don't know that lady. Beyonce ain't even her name. Two. Okay. Her name is Beyonce Giselle Knows Carter. Thank you. Uh, she almost got my, my fur name. What? Jocelyn? <laughs> well, people, you know, teachers used to call me Giselle. My teachers, my mom. All right. Dude, uh, his name this is no- on yeah. you. What is Dwayne Johnson's wrestling name? Is it A, Stone Cold? B. The Rock. Can I finish? Thank you. Okay. Jax, <laughs> C. The Rock, or D. Sting? 
Super Rock. You are absolutely correct. Two against Jock Zero, Mr. Young Jock. What is the birth Lime country is. of Rihanna? Is it A, Jamaica? Is it B, Cuba? Is it C, Barbados? Is it D, America? Barbados. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are absolutely correct. All right, Dukes, this is a riddle, okay? What runs all around a backyard yet never moves? A fence. And Dukes, you are the winner! Congratulations! You are way smarter than Young Jock could ever be today no. because he is so glitchy. Would you like to give any shout outs? Shout out to my son, Kendrick. He's the one told me to call. Go, Kendrick! Yeah. You knew your and mom now, was smarter than Young Jock. I'm sorry, Kendrick. And dude, I'm about to launch an internal investigation. <laughs> You didn't even call on the regular line. You called on the back line. Nuh-uh. So I know Miss Shanika said this All up. the lies. <laughs> All the lies. My caller would have known Thank Beyonce's you for your call, whole man. name. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your call. All right, Hold so on. you, what? Tell her what she won. We about to hook you up with a $50 gas card, man. You about to be lit. You could drive around the city once. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make the best of it, man. And tell us who your favorite, who you wake up to every morning. Young Jack in the streets more than fake stories. Yeah. Hold on one moment, dude. Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? It's sponsored by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders and Associates. In the car rent call, 855-J Sanders. Yes, sir. We're back at it. Young Jack in the Streets morning. Take over Miss Shadnika Shadow Shadow. And of course, you. I know over the week, ever since the big game, we've been talking about all the different things we saw, saw to take place at the big game. And one of those things happened to be Kanye West with his commercial. Of course, he it was said that he paid $7 million for the commercial and spent $0 on the actual commercial. Mm. Now, when he did this, he also released uh, the new album, Vultures One, mm-hmm. right? And it was shot to the top of the charts, number one. So he. Did something really outstanding. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Well, Kanye's West album, Vultures One, that became number one, has been removed from Apple. What? After the distributors asked it be removed. Dang. What? Because it was said that he did it independently without their permission throughout this world out of the album. So yeah, he's on the contract. Jumped, <laughs> jumped off the front porch, off the bridge. He just jumped off. Are they gonna issue his check? Well, it's not about a check. You know, it's like, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. We we weren't prepared to do this. Although it's winning, uh, I don't know why they would pull it back though. Control, and then it could be some things. There could be some some issues where. Certain things on the album Life aren't thing. completed. You can like exactly. Well, licensing, he did steal a couple of things, and people have problems with it. I know specifically he has a ongoing situation with uh, Ozzy Osbourne's oh, uh, yeah. sample. So uh, Sharon Osbourne spoke out on that, and it's a few more. Ozzy people. spoke out on it as well. I mean, nobody understands what Ozzy I, I was saying. Ozzy well, can speak. He yeah, said that barely. he didn't want to be involved with anyone he that was anti-Semitic. He put it in a tweet. But does he know? Ooh. About his it's past his Hey man, all Whoa. I'm saying is that's what I was mean, put I out just there. don't like it. Okay, anyway, so as it pertains to this album, did you see the um the drawing that Kanye West <laughs> daughter did of her dad's album? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she drew the outline, which is the backside of her dad and her stepmom. Oh. And he gave and she gave the stepmom a, a BBL. Let me see. Sure. Let me see. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta post it on our Streets Morning Takeover page. No. It's absolutely hilarious. Well it's actually that's a real, I like it. That's I a actually, real picture. I like it better than if the cover. Are, don't stop drawing people booties. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Miss Westy on this? Yeah. Am your oh bestie is on the album that was taken down? Wow. Yeah, so that's what it is. We're definitely going to figure out how this is going to play out. Uh, Miss mm-hmm. Shanique, 
Yes. What you got coming well, up? Well, I got to talk about my boy Usher because Usher has definitely been doing his thing and he just got married. And so we're just wondering why he spoke on Chili just recently. Um, he gave us a, a never heard before story. And so, yeah, I'm going to tell you about that. Also, he is uh, developing a television series. So we're going to get into that and what Chili's rebuttal was about what Usher had said. And the premiere of Bold and Bougie, which stars one of uh, Usher's exes, another ex, Tamika Raymond. Mm -hmm. Mm, Wonder if she's going to change that last name. Definitely keep it locked. Word on the Streets News coming up in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. Okay, well, we got to talk about it. Usher, who is, I mean, has had one of the most incredible weeks of his career, performing at the big game. I mean, like, he, he was honored on the Black Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, just so many things. And he also did, like, a, a album listening it was very Release. private and exclusive. And he also, let's see, what else did he do? Oh, he released his tickets to go on a, a tour, a tour yeah. all over the country. So, I mean, it, it's really going well for him. Also, he revealed that he got married on the big game uh, Sunday before the big game actually started his performance. And people are confused as to why Usher had decided to talk about Chili this week. Uh, Chili and Usher were in one of the most nostalgic uh, celebrity romances in black history mm. and in the early 2000s. And um, this relationship happened a long time ago. We just got married and we just confused because he said at one point he had proposed to Chili. And she told him no. Mm. And he said after that, that rejection, he took out on a multitude of women. Mm. So he never really truly healed from that. That's what I'm getting from the situation. Um, I was like, what do I think about that? Well, Chili responded by posting (laughs) pictures of her and her new boo, Matthew Lawrence, one of the fine, finest group of white boys that ever existed in life. The Lawrence brothers that would start at Joey Lawrence and then segue right into Matthew, which is Chili's current boo. All right. So I'm trying to cover all angles. Now, Tamika Raymond, who is Usher's ex-wife, had... um. (laughs) was asked about Usher being married or the comment or whatever and uh, here is what was said because I I get caught off guard when someone that I've been divorced from for a decade keeps getting brought up it just makes me think I'm around all of his fans and I don't want to be that I want to be around fans of me my friends it makes me side eye people that are in my company because I'm like damn are you around because you really trying to get a ticket (laughs) you know what I'm saying Come on now, we can buy a ticket now. Like, okay. oh, ain't nobody no damn groupie now. Yeah. I'm a fan, know the difference. Not a groupie, but a fan. And I'm still trying to figure out how you call them. Okay? Okay, <laughs> dookie. All right, so that wasn't real. Okay, so Tamika said, <laughs> well, I thought they were already married. That was her first reply to Usher being married. And then... Um, I just I was like, too. is she going to um, change her last name? Is she going to go back under Foster? Anyway, it's been said that <gasps> Usher is now developing a script based on his music and black love in the ATL. So it's going to be um, a series. And it said that he might star or make guest appearances on the show. It's going to explore music, style, sex, romance, and secrets that threaten to tear relationships apart. Oh, wow. He, he feeling about, he feel about love and hip hop? I, that's what it sounds like, but with real actors. So you better go in and, and audition for uh, Usher. Moving right along, uh, let's talk Boosie. Boosie is, he's crazy. 
Bro, she was caught off guard. It wasn't in rehearsal. Right. Wow. If it ain't in rehearsals, you don't do it. Period. I don't give a damn. She's not an actor. It's not a movie. Right. She plays the piano. <laughs> she plays the piano. He is still mad about Usher's performance at the big game with Alicia Keys. I mean, she's married. And, okay. And Her husband ain't have an issue with it. Why he mad, though? Because it puts out that you could touch a married woman. And great news, the Unks have settled their beef. I am referring to Uncle Shay Shay and Mike Epps. Mike, Mike thought he was going to be able to say something, and Uncle Shay Shay wasn't going to say nothing back. And, uh, yeah, they sat down, as promised, no video required, no audio required, just a picture of proof that they are good. And uh, they had a one picture where they it seemed like they were arm wrestling with each other. It was a pose. Anywho, I know who would have won that fight. That is the part of the street news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys doubt. can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. And the word on the streets news is being brought to you by Bader Scott Accident Attorneys. That is so dope, Miss Shanika. Oh I say what's even doper. What? The Love Doc Jock is on the way. one 844 Call me up if you need some good relationship advice. Or if you know somebody who needs some advice. You want me to hit them up and give them some good relationship advice? Hit me. one 844 It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the streets. Morning takeover. Yo, Yo. The streets morning to take over. Y'all with the love, Doc Jock. I'm at help. What's going on, Doc, man? What's up, my boy? You need some relationship advice? Yeah, man. Man, my girl, man, she been cheating on me. Now, how do you know she been cheating on you? Has she been honest to tell you? Told you or man, you found out? Man, cuz, look, look, bro. I was on her Instagram and I seen the Instagram DM, bro. But you, but you hacked it? You went in it? How did you see it? Yeah, I went in. I used the phone to call my mama because my phone was broke. You know what I mean? And I end up reading the shit like, yeah, he missed her, man. Did he say how long he missed her? Nah, I ain't even do it. I tried to confront her, but she ended up there busting my window out of my car put me out in the house. Okay, listen. When you're dating a Jasmine Sullivan, you got to understand how this goes. You cannot confront a woman unless you got all the facts. Because if it's somebody before you, how long you been with your lady? Five years. Now, some people do come back after that long and still say stuff like, I miss you. Come across the page. You might be the upgraded. You might be an upgraded version of him. She might be living her best life. And he come in and he he down on this, you know, and he send a little message. But if he say, you know, we, we, you got to have all you got to have all the info when you confront the women. She don't bust the window out the car. It costs now, so it is what it is. Yeah, man. Safe link ain't cheap, man. It ain't. So what you gonna do about it? You trying to fix the situation with your lady? Man, that's why I called you for advice, bitch, dog. Listen, you gonna have to come clean with her. Let her know you were wrong for going through that. You hate for even having to be put put in that position, but you just want to know the truth and you want to continue to love her. And if she a real woman, guess what she gonna do? She gonna break down and tell you the truth. That's right, that's right. She gonna tell you what she wants you to hear anyway. She will tell you. And some of that stuff will hurt your feelings. But when you give her that stage, you got to allow her to get it out. Okay. Now, as a man, let me tell you what you got to do. This is going to be the best relationship relationship advice I give you. Take notes. You got to cry. (laughs) Shout out to say you got to cry. You got to get it out. (laughs) (laughs) Try and cleanse your soul. (laughs) Yes, it does. And that's the love dot (laughs) job with Shout it, Shout it. It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Nikki Rios, I have Born Again Savage, which is a clothing line for women. I have Creative Control, which is a clothing line for men. And we actually manufacture out of our own factory. So please hit us up at underscore Born Again Savage on Instagram. www.brnsvg.com. So we actually manufacture for about 25 brands. So we have our own, but it's like a sample brand. So you can actually see our brand and be like, ooh, I like that, but I want to change this, this, or I want it just like that, but with my brand name on it. And that's what we actually provide. Every morning I listen to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Happy Friday. You know what it is. It's that time, shout It is. Thank you, Lord. Woo, we, we made it. Man, we didn't even eat breakfast this morning, bro. Yeah, I know since they robbed us from our restaurant downstairs, we hadn't even been able to get our proper nutrition in the morning. We should open up our own restaurant Man, downstairs. the way you had enough time to grab some breakfast for everybody, but I'm going to let you finish. You leave my brother alone. Shout out to Fonny Willis. You so lame, Sonny. Yeah. Good. yeah, I know. You could have just let it yeah. roll because I ain't even... Yeah, that part. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to DA 
Fonnie Willis. She is doing her thing, uh, giving the people what they gave her. So I just uh. wish her all the all the superpowers in the world because Donald Trump must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and there should be no one in the state of Georgia able to vote for him. I just wow. want to say this, uh, y'all, do not be blinded and don't be blindsided, please. You know, watch for the hook on some safety measures. And this will work for you in any part of your life. When you when you find yourself being so comfortable that you don't have to look around, just know that you're your most vulnerable at that point. Mm. Boy, so okay. what that means is anytime you feel like everything is up, mm. be prepared yes. for something that wants to take you down. Yes. Even if it's getting out the car, you get out the car and you just walk straight ahead. No, stop for a minute. Look around. Yeah. Look yeah. around. When you about to sign on some paperwork, stop for a second and ask yourself, is this really what I'm about to do and can I afford to do this? You get what I'm trying to say? Yes, because if you have if you don't have a storm in your life, one is coming. One is coming. Ooh, I'm telling you. Saw you in the church. You're on your I'm way to church. You one is coming. I want to uh, do a shout out to D.A. Fonny Willis because I think that she was doing a phenomenal job with cleaning the crime up in the city. But I think that she made a major mistake with the Trump case and I pray that everything works out to its good. Okay. Oh, you want to leave? You want to leave? No, no, no. <laughs> false prayers. So I don't want to get beat up oh, in no, the street. No, 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 I think he's wrong about it. Hey, this. man, we'll come back. We'll catch y'all Monday, <laughs> man. We talking everything good, bad, and ugly. NBA All-Star Weekend going down, Nap Town. You know what I'm saying? And our, our listeners over the weekend, we love y'all. We'll, co- we'll holler at y'all. All right, keep it locked. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hi. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.